What's up everybody? Welcome to Drone Mania. So my friends, we're outside today. It's been a long time since we had like pretty good weather. It is kind of windy today, but it's been pretty good weather for this weekend to be able to fly this drone. And this drone is called the Explorer. It's a pretty kind of big drone. We'll check it out. And the reason why is like I said, we haven't had any good weather at all during the weekends. And that's basically the only time I really have to film drones, which is on the weekend. And for the past two, three months, we've always had rain dropping in on Friday and Saturday. So today, as you can see, is a beautiful day and perfect, hopefully, to fly the drone. We're gonna do a test and see how windy it is outside. So let's get into that. So guys, we're here with the Explorer. It looks like a pretty bad boy from the picture, from a little short clip I've seen. So let's check it out. I would appreciate if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video would be really helpful to me. So let's just unbox it real quick and check it out. So here it is, my friends. Let's start off. Wait, I think there's something. Yeah, this was inside. So let's just start off real quick with the manual. So this is naturally like all manuals telling you what buttons do, what joysticks do, how to charge battery, how long to charge battery, how install, ooh, that just flew, how install um, batteries for the controller. Real basic things like that. And then you have here uh, talking about, well, here's in Chinese, if I'm not mistaken, and here's in English. And here it's telling you, you know, download the camera app for iOS, Android, what to pair it to, the name, etc. Basic stuff that you see on all types of toy drones. So let's put this aside for now and just check real quick about the content that there's not that much but let's just check so you get four prop guards pretty big ones as you can see okay four spare propellers that tell you also the ways that they spin around indicating A and B so you know the direction of where to put the propellers for the beginners out there so that is pretty cool and I'll take out the last two right away you just uh, get a little Phillips screwdriver tiny for screwing in the propellers which is I think is really good when you have propellers that are screwed in it's really good quality of security so that's good and this is the charger my friends usb to i'm not quite sure what they call this uh charging port but yeah if you guys know leave it in the comments down below so real quick here now of the controller unfortunately they don't tell you or indicate or show you anything of what functions they do so let's just take a real quick look and I'll tell you guys what they do. Okay, so as follows my friends, the top one right here is basically one click return. The back right here is headless mode. And then here you have your left flight fine tuning. Here you have your takeoff. Here you have your landing right here. This button right here is your speed switching probably it goes one two and three and here is your roll meaning you press it then you do the direction and the drone will do a flip natural and standard on all toy grade drones and then here you have your fine uh, forward tuning here you have your back tuning and here you have your fine flick on the right so it tunes it to the right left stuff like that and from what I know, that's basically it for the controller. I already have three batteries pre-installed, which are double A. So yeah, that's ready to go. Powered on, there's the lights you can see right there. That will probably indicate you how much light 
how much battery is left maybe i'm guessing and these are just your standard cosmetic useless but trying to make it look nice antennas okay let's go to the drone as you can see this is a foldable drone this is how it folds it's max and when it's in full tact it's pretty big i think for a drone samsung galaxy a 12 with the case and all so just for preferences so you guys can see the size of it so it is pretty big yeah so it is a pretty big drone it looks like it really good quality here's your antenna for your wi-fi to connect for the camera this is the camera it's adjustable but not automatic this is adjustable by hand so that will be in a later video we're going to test out the camera we're going to test out the app everything this is the battery the battery just pulls out there's no like uh, clip or something that you need to press and remove it it's just just as easy as pulling it out so from what i can see here it's a 3.7 volt 1800 milliamp battery which i think will give you about that 15 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes time depending what you do where you fly how you fly etc so we're all set my friends let's just dive into the flight now and check it out if i forgot to mention here's a uh, led lights i've never seen something made like that but that looks pretty cool as you can see <laughs> it looks awesome anything on the bottom yeah also on the bottom they have the lcd light so yeah okay guys i hope this is in the frame wow it's really really windy people okay let's pull out the real antennas <laughs> let's power on this bad boy oh it's right here the button there it is really nice lights let's power on the drone uh, sorry the controller okay so it's connected so just flicking upwards powers it on so that's cool that they have that feature i like that i'm gonna put it right into uh takeoff though so let's take it off and there it is so this is on the first rate so as you can see it's extremely drifting to the left hand side and that's because the wind is coming from there I'm not gonna really trim it because the wind is all over the place so it will just uh, drive it crazy but I can see this is a beast let's now switch to the speed mode So there is three rates of this. This is on the third rate and now it's just flying around. That is really cool. I don't want to take it so far because I want you guys to really get a look at the drone. So I'll try to keep it in the shot as much as possible. But it flies pretty damn good people. I'm really impressed by its power. It has power. And it's handling the winds here with ease. No problem whatsoever. Let's try a flip. See how, how nice the flip is. If it's nice and tucked and precise. There's the, pre the flip. Whoa, <laughs> the wind. While it's flipping, the wind uh, is pushing it away. Which is kind of something risky to do, but... For you guys, why not? Let's try another flip. Nice. It has a pretty good flip, people. It's not so bad. Let's try side. Boom. Really nice. Let's try a back one. Wow. It has a good flip. Nice and tucked the controlling of the drone is very good let's see how precise it is yeah it's, it has a lot of sensitivity so that's pretty good on its uh, part as well funnels
Yeah, I'm really sorry guys that I'm flying this in the winds and you're not really seeing its true, I guess, potential of its true power and stuff. But you can also think of it as it's a really good test to do because let's say you're outside and your area like for me is generally always windy weather so you know that this drone can handle those uh, winds and it's about between the 7 to 16 mark because off camera i saw the winds go to 16 kilometers so keep that in mind and there's gusts Let's take it up a little bit high. Hopefully nothing falls or breaks. And if it does, it's a piece of crap. But no, it's holding its thing. I'm really high. Wow. Wow, people. This is awesome. With all the gusts outside, I'm shocked. I'll bring it down. It's coming down slowly, slowly doesn't come down so fast my friends and that could be probably because the winds and stuff or just that's how it uh, works yeah that's really slow yeah it goes down really slow I don't think that actually has anything to do with the winds it's just really slow let's see uh, how fast it uh, goes up so yeah not that fast pretty slow so motors are not that powerful naturally these are uh, brushed motors my friends so you can't really expect too much from it so if i didn't mention it my friends this drone costed me about 60 dollars from aliexpress and if i already mentioned it so i'll mention it again so you guys will know the value of this drone to see if it's worth it for you and if you like it and if you think the drone itself is worth about $60 maybe a little more maybe a little less but rounding it off about 60 bucks it's a 4k version there's also available in uh, 1080p and it comes in two colors black and your standard gray silver white whatever you want to call this color white it's not but like gray or silver Wow, it's really, really a fun drone. I'm really, really liking it. I can't wait to do the camera test. Obviously, that's going to have to be on a nice, better, windless day to see its full potential of quality of how it films and everything. So, it is a nice uh, overall drone. If you guys want to see the quality of the camera, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and wait for the future update of uh, this drone. So it is pretty badass. <gasps> Yo, I almost smashed into the pole because of the wind. So I don't want to really take too much chances because I'm getting so like eager just to go crazy with it and really push it to the limit. But because of the winds, I might crash into a pole like I almost did. So we're gonna stop this video. Let's just see. Okay, so you can see the drone. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it. The battery is not done yet. It's still it's still solid colors, which means that there's still juice in here, so that's a good sign. It does have a good lasting time. I think it's pretty well worth it. So let's just uh, land it. And perfect landing, beautiful flight, no crashes, nothing breaks. I really like it. I can't believe I forgot to mention it, my friends. This is, like I said, the $60 version, but I forgot to mention it has two camera. How unprofessional of me, my friends. Uh, I apologize for that. So yeah, there's one camera, the bottom camera, and then you have here the top camera. So that is pretty good. I can't believe I forgot that. One there and one here. So for $60, you get this badass and two cameras i think it's pretty good what do you guys think so my friends that pretty much cuts out for this video my first impression thoughts for it 
I think it's a really good drone. The build quality, you can feel the build quality on it. It's not those cheap plastics as you can see from me pressing. Nothing is like really denting in or bending. It's a real solid build. That is very, very good. The bottom also really solid. The kick stands of it really, really good. Everything feels really well built. The LED lights I think is really nice as well. I've never really seen something like that before on a drone, you know, that have like a clear lead like that. Really interesting. Also on the bottom naturally. Overall, it's a pretty good drone. Handles the wings as you've seen, pretty good. Don't do any tricks or something. You know, just enjoy the flight and you should have no problems on third rate speed, of course. So that's pretty much it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. I hope it helped you guys out. Till next time, remember to be safe, take care, have fun, and peace out. Boom!